Greetings, Eric Backer, New Zealand naturopath, author of Candida Crusher, formulator of the KNZ, the range of products. Thanks for tuning in. I'm going to do a video today based on um, many requests I've had in the past several weeks on parasites. So parasites is a very big topic. There's some very good information on the internet, but as usual, there's a lot of crap on the internet about parasites. So I want to try and set the record straight for people uh, who've got parasites and interested in a very effective parasite eradication solutions. And that's what we're going to hit on right now. The seven good um, successes or seven tips in terms of parasite eradication. So I've written a cheat sheet here as usual. Let's get into it. Number one, identify your target. So let's just say you're going out deer hunting or you know, stuff like that or shooting animals or when you know duck shooting or something. Well, it might pay for you to work out where you're going if there's actually going to be ducks there or deer there or the animals that you're trying to target. There's no point going out to the parking lot or you know to the bowling alley or the supermarket looking for ducks because you probably won't find them there. You know, you've got to find the right location where they're probably going to be and have a pretty good idea where you think they're going to be. Target them. So they could be anywhere in the body, but let's let's assume that you're targeting the digestive system, which is what I think you were doing. So Targeting usually means testing. So your medical doctor can often do a test for parasite. If not, you can do a functional medicine test through your uh, naturopathic doctor or chiropractic doctor or medical doctor who has an interest in a functional test. A functional test is a little bit different from a pathological test. Okay, function test is going to look at a whole wide range of parameters, not just one particular little bug. It's a very myopic and narrow way of testing a lot of medical doctors do, they check for one tiny thing, like they've got the blinkers on, but they forget there could be other stuff out here. So functional medicine tests, there are tons of labs you can do this from if you're in the States or in Europe, no matter where you live. There's Genova Diagnostics, there's Doctors Data, there's Diagnost Tech, there's many different labs that will do this test. So a parasite screen is something that you could easily do, and it shouldn't cost too much. If you're going to do a comprehensive stool analysis, that could be in the range of a few hundred dollars, several hundred, several hundred dollars, but a parasite screen is usually less. So number one, identify your target. Do you have blastocystis hollis? You know? Do you have entamoeba? I mean, what have you got? What type of parasite have you got inside you got? Have you got giardia? You know? So it pays really to find out what you've got before you're going to pull out a gun and try and fire a bullet you know, to that target. Try and find out what you've got. Number two, consider the severity of your problem. Try and work out if you really have got parasites, and you can do that also sometimes without testing. Think logically, okay? So I know I've said to you guys before, common sense isn't very common. Logic isn't very common today either. So sometimes people travel overseas, say to the Caribbean or to India, you know, or to Asia, or they could go to the Pacific Islands or particularly areas that are hit with hurricanes with you know poor water supply these are places where you're going to get parasites guys you're not going to get parasites if you go to Walmart generally uh, but you're more likely to get a parasite if you're going to go to a place where the hygiene's not so good yeah. maybe the hygiene's not so good at Walmart I don't know so consider the severity so how bad is your parasite problem do you have really bad diarrhea do you have really bad cramping pains uh, do you have overwhelming fatigue and brain fog and joint pain? You can also go and have a look at some of my articles or other YouTube videos I have completed on parasites to understand about how severe this response can be. Okay, severe responses should drive you to the doctor to get tested immediately, especially if you've traveled and then developed acute GI problem. Get it tested. Find out what the heck it is. Okay, so consider, consider the severity and act on that severity. You don't want to have a parasite in your body for years and years and years. Initially, when you get it, you can get quite strong symptoms, but they can settle down. I've tested patients who have, who've got parasites now that are literally asymptomatic. They haven't got symptoms, but they did have them five or ten years ago, and they lived 10 years of crappy life because they never really associated down the track the problems they had could have been linked with what happened 10 years prior. Thinking. Number three. What do I write here? I can't even read my own writing. Don't be parasite focused. There's another one. You may have parasites, but then you may not have parasites. You may have candida. 
You may have a bacterial overgrowth, like small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. You may have an under acid stomach. I mean, you could have any one of anything. That's why testing is important. And even if you do find you have got parasites, don't focus just on a parasite. Focus on the integrity of the whole gut, the whole health of the gut. A healthy gut with parasite is more likely to counter the parasite. If you've just got a parasite you're treating, if you're just shooting that one thing, there could be a lot of collateral damage that could occur. So be careful. All right? Sometimes you could kill the friendly guys by trying to wipe out the bad guy. All right? It happens all the time in war. Number four, natural treatment first before pharmaceutical treatment. Some patients I've treated over the years, I found that I had to go in there with a big gun first, boom, blow something up before I could you know, finish off the job with a smaller gun. Other times, more, you know, more commonly, I prefer to go in with a natural, a softer, gentler approach and then ramp that, that approach up a little bit and push that patient for four to six weeks. And then let's see how they are after two weeks. If we complete a few of those cycles and we still find that they're very sick, maybe pharmaceutical treatment is necessary. In many cases it isn't. Because if you take a parasite down in large numbers, okay, over a prolonged period of time, gentle treatment, you're going to weaken the parasite. And then at the same time, if you focus on, on you know, boosting up the good guys, you're going to take the parasites out. It works for me. And it works for a lot of people that I work with. It's a basic, simple approach. Number five, don't forget the good guys. Look after the soldiers. Don't just look out, don't just kill the enemy. Make sure the soldiers get looked after too, all right? Make sure that the lactobacillus and the, and, uh, the bifidobacteria and the enterococcus and the E. coli and all these other species that are, that are important in your gut, make sure they're well catered for, all right? Probiotics, enzymes to help break food down to give food, you know, uh, to the beneficial bacteria. These are all very clever things you can do. Look after the good guys big time and they'll take care of the bad guys. Six, food is your medicine. Medicine is your food with parasites, okay? Having a diet with sodas and beer and pizzas is probably not really going to help you a lot if you've got parasites, all right? Drinking a glass of Coca-Cola three or four times a day, probably not a good idea if you've got parasites. Would you agree? I hope you agree. You're much better off really focusing on a very healthy, clean eating approach. Now, I've talked and talked and talked till I'm blue in the face. I'm not really blue in the face, I think. But I've talked a lot about the food approach when it comes to parasites, when it comes to candida and bacteria. I'd really like you to go back and look at some of those videos that I've completed on good ways of eating. I've done about, I don't know, two or three hundred videos on this channel just about that alone. So check out some of my videos on healthy eating. When you eat like this, it's going to really undermine the parasite, particularly when you start including a lot of good herbs and spices in your diet. Take sugars out, take yeasts out, eat lots of fresh, healthy foods. This really discourages bad things and encourages good things. Common sense? Number seven, the last one. Look at your lifestyle, right? No point trying to counter parasites if you're up at three o'clock in the morning on Facebook or whatever you're looking at. You know, Instagram, it's Instagram now, isn't it? So try and look carefully at how much sleep you're getting. The quality sleep is what we want. Are you resting enough? Are you stressing out? Do you have anxiety? Is your neighbor playing crazy cat videos at high volume and you can't sleep at night? Try and find out where the stresses are in your life and try and deal with these stresses. The happier you feel and the less stress you've got in your life and the better you eat, all these things go in your favor to eradicate parasites. The last thing I'll leave you with is check out Canzita. Canzita Remove. Okay, I made a product and it works very well. Just grab it over here. Canzita Remove in the red bottle. That product was formulated for parasites, for bad bacteria, and for candida species. I've had tremendous success with Canzita Remove with Blastocystis hominis, Diantamoeba fragilis, and many other different types of parasites. Is it a straight anti-parasite product? No, it's a gut cleansing product. So that product, when combined with a healthy diet and a healthy lifestyle, is going to really help to get you in good shape. Be sure to check out Canzita.com because you probably also want to take the Canzita Restore, which is the probiotic enzyme. It works perfectly with Remove. 
when you use them together in combo uh, with the tips I've given you here, you're going to most probably eradicate a parasite within a six to 12 month period or a lot less. It all depends on you. I hope this has been a useful video. Um, please give me some comments on it. Let me know what other kind of videos you're, videos you're interested in. Thanks for tuning in.